What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to just do a very quick video for you guys regarding Victoria Beckham Beauty since there is a sale going on right now. There isn't a sale often for Victoria Beckham Beauty and it's currently 20% and you don't have to do a code anymore. The code is just added at checkout. Oh my god guys, I see the hair on the side of my face and it's driving me nuts in editing but I swear to god I am gonna fix it a little later. Even my dog hates it. So much of this brand I love. I just figure, let's just do my top five favorite products of Victoria Beckham Beauty. Now, unfortunately, I did film this yesterday and the audio, you know, something happened to the audio. So you're gonna see a B-roll of the actual day, my actual makeup. So that's all Victoria Beckham Beauty products. It's gonna be different makeup from today because I just filmed a different video. So unfortunately, um, it's it's a little bit confusing but hopefully you can still see in the demo how the products look and why I think that they're so beautiful. And my first recommendation is going to be the Cheeky Posh Blush Sticks. I have two of these. I have the shades Playground and the shade Fever and originally I didn't think anything of this but sometimes when you start just using a product, continue on using it, you realize Actually, I really like this product. So what I like about this product is first of all the packaging. It looks a little bit bigger than a lipstick bullet, so it's really travel friendly and it feels incredibly luxe. It comes in that horn or turtle shell packaging, very on brand, and it's just really easy to close and really easy to open. You twist it up and you get the color. There is quite an amount of pigment in here. It doesn't look too impressive when you st first swipe it on your cheeks, but it blends out super nicely and it wears really skin-like. So on very natural makeup days, that's when I whip out these blushes. For the fall, I like the shade Playground, and for the summer month or just the warmer months, I like the shade fever because fever can give you that sun-kissed feverish look where it kind of looks like you've been out in the sun too much and I really like that fever gives much more of a orange undertone and this playground run is a terracotta true and true a really easy blush to work with and it's just been one of the staples in my collection that I continue on using every single time it definitely is worthy of being in this list so that is number five the cheeky posh blush sticks then at number four I want to recommend the satin kajal liners now I'm going to show you guys a arm swatch of all of the satin kajals I have all of them I did purchased the latest one, the copper colored one. Unfortunately, it didn't arrive yet. I decided not to get it with expedited shipping because I pay a buttload in shipping. And when it comes to just like one single liner, sometimes I just have to be wise with my money. I currently purchased all of the Lisa Eldridge palettes and it was just very expensive. So I, I wanted to check my spending a little bit, but I do want to have all of them. I kind of made it a point for my channel to just have all of them on hand. There are three categories when it comes to the San Kajal. Technically four. Okay, so let, there are four categories when it comes to the sun kajals. You have the brightening pencil, which is sort of a category in itself. And that one is all right. You have the jewel liners, which recently came out. Definitely wouldn't really recommend those. They're a little lackluster in what, I guess, what I expected. And my golden lame color is incredibly dry compared to the other ones. So it's just very inconsistent in formulation. They're all right, so they're not bad. And I'm happy to have them in my collection. They're just not the ones that I'm recommending for this video. Then you have the metallic liners. And I love these. These are incredibly good. There's three of them. Like I said, one of them is new, which is the copper toned one. And here on the swatch, you'll see two, which is bronze and sea gray. I love both of them and bronze I do wear on a regular basis. I definitely would recommend that one. And last but not least, you have the matte liners. In the matte liners, I think I love nearly all of them except for one after continuous use of this one, so the shade Fig. Unfortunately, that one isn't up to par when it comes to the quality. That one can skip a little bit and it is a little bit harder to work with. And I saw in the comment section in the last Victoria Beckham Beauty video that I did that uh, some of you guys have the same problem. Now, I did review this at the time and I thought nothing of it, but since I've been using it more consistently, I realized it's the one that I enjoy the least in use. So the experience is just not up to par to the other ones. My favorite liner is, and the one that I use in the demo, is the shade Coco, and that's the brown colored one. It's just a very deep brown. And the way that I like to use these is I like to use them as 
eyeshadow bases. So before I go in with a lid luster, for example, I like to put my base down or I like to use this as smudgy liners. These to me are not great for lining the waterline because they do smudge. They're so emollient and they're just so soft in use. These are great for a smoky cat wing, but not for a tight cat wing, if you know what I mean. Then next up, I wanna talk about the Posh Glosses. I actually really love this formulation. I have swatches of all of them. I have seven, so that's a little bit, you know, overkill, but I love the first launch when she came out with all the brown tones. And the second lunch I just wanted to join because ah, oh, they're just, it's such a great formulation. So this is what I like about them. First off, I believe that the ingredient list is on the website. So check out the ingredient list because there's something about them that makes them incredibly hydrating on the lips. For these months, like the colder months here in the Netherlands, they are just incredibly nice to wear as sort of a lip treatment. They are a pure gloss. So if you don't like glosses, then skip over this one because these are definitely a pure gloss, but they don't, they don't feel like they're, you know, stringy, tugging, sticky. I like the pigment on these. And what I like the most about them is the, the feeling of nourishment continues on even when the pigment kind of fades away. With glosses, especially pigmented glosses, at some point the fade, there is some fading going on. That is very normal in my opinion because you eat, you do things. I also like the packaging. It's glass, it feels luxe, it's very on brand. It has that, again, horn shoe or what do you call that? The turtle shell packaging. And all in all, I think the color curation is just really well done. I love the brown tones and my favorite ones of the line are currently Aperitivo, tan line and poolside and those i wear a ton of you can even see it because i store mine upside down i don't recommend this because i don't think it's good for the applicator but i do store mine upside down and i can actually tell which ones i'm using up the fastest i also really like the clear gloss one and that's just a really easy one to use and connect with for my collection they're just incredibly dependable and i know it's not an exciting thing because it does have a lot of competitors out there you know glosses are definitely a thing right now there's a lot of lip oils lip balms out there but if you are going to try this brand and you want to go for a lip product i do like to use for example tan line together with my number two definer from victoria beckham beauty and you can get a really nice autumn lip that is very nourishing and just very friendly on the lips it just feels really nice so i would recommend those the definer is eh, okay but i think the glosses are definitely worth a shout out on my channel Channel. Then on second spot, again, these are not ranked in a particular order, but definitely this one I couldn't miss out on. I love these. I have all of them and most of you probably already know which ones I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to talk about the Lid Lusters. Also, again, it comes in that horn shoe packaging with the VB on top. There is a little lid to protect the product. And this is my honey shade, I believe. So again, I have all of them. I also recently got Velvet, which is an incredible color for the holidays, guys. I'll show you guys the swatches over here because I recently did swatch all of them because these are high pigmented, high shine, high color. All of these are infused with crystals. I'm not a crystal person, but I do like the idea of that. It's just a very well thought out idea they're inspired by crystals and they have a really nice base pigment but they also have a really nice shimmer so when they are on the lid you see they really catch the light in every moment and even in the studio lighting you don't see the sparkly bits that these actually have on your lids because when you go in synthetic lighting or you go in sunlight you see all of these beautiful sparkly reflex i have a few favorites people ask me all the time which one is your favorite and I wear chiffon a lot, which I am wearing in the demo. And I really like honey, which is this shade. I also really like starlight for the summer, which is a more golden, true golden shade. Velvet for, you know, the holiday season is probably going to be a favorite of mine. And the color that I like to recommend the most because it's quite unique is tea rose because tea rose has pink tones in it. It has brown tones in it and the reflex. So the glitter particles in there are more yellow. It is quite a unique shade for a one and done. And when you have it on the lids, you do see all of those shades come back. So it kind of looks like you have multiple eyeshadows on, but you're only wearing one. Last but not least, there is a product that maybe isn't as exciting as a lid luster, but it's been such a dependable, product in my collection. I still use this on a weekly basis and it's I think the first product that I bought from Victoria Beckham Beauty 
it's the bronzing brick. Oh! So I have mine in the shade 2 medium. So there are two shades, but this is one pan altogether. It's called a bronzing brick. First of all, this packaging feels like old Hollywood glam, and that is what I love. Second thing about this packaging is that this brick is refillable, so you can take the pan out, and then you just have to buy the refills. They fixed the issue when it comes to this opening. They fixed that because it used to be that it kind of just opened on itself and people hated that, of course. But I don't have that issue and I do feel like they've addressed it once that they did fix that issue. This packaging is weighty. It feels incredibly luxe. It comes again in that horseshoe or what do you call it? Horn packaging or turtle shell packaging, whatever you want to call it. And it has a nice size mirror. There's a VB on the mirror on the side. And like I said, it's refillable. I have the shade too. And I like to go in the lighter shade to just contour bronze. Yeah, I do contour with this one because it's not too warm because it's a bit more yellow toned and go all over the face with it. When the warmer months come on, I do like to travel and kind of stick in the middle. And if I'm really tan, I can just use this pan, but I like to just use this one and slowly build my color up. That's what I love about this bronzer. It is a true matte bronzer. I don't feel like there's any shine to my face when I use this, but it does take on a skin-like finish. And if I wanna have just a dependable bronzer, this is the one that I pull for. This is a bronzer that is in my weekly rotation. I use it a few times a week and I still haven't hit pat, pat on it. I can't believe it. There is a good divot in here. It's lasting me a very long time. So all in all, out of all of them, if you can get this, I would definitely highly recommend this bronzer, especially if you're looking for a bronzer. I demoed both of the colors on my cheeks so you can see what it looks like. I am on the paler side, so technically I would only use the lighter color. But for this demo, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like if I use both colors. It's just a versatile product when you have two colors like this. All of these products are going to be linked down below in my affiliates. I do have an affiliate code with Victoria Beckham Beauty that took me a while to obtain so I did have to get my channel approved to get that affiliate code and I'm very proud that I could say that I have affiliates for all of these so if you do want to support my channel you can support my channel by using one of my affiliates I do earn a little bit of commission of any purchases that you make and that goes right back into my channel and my future purchases for 2023 I am going to follow Victoria Beckham Beauty as well as Lisa Aldrich I'm still picking which brands I want to follow for 2023 because I want to be a little bit more mindful but Victoria Beckham Beauty is just a brand that has been doing really well on my channel I really like and I think that you guys seem to really like as well if this was the first video that you saw please make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you liked anything about this video make sure to press a like so the algorithm knows that this is a video that they should recommend to other people anyway guys I want to thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye guys